Hello, global freedom loving family. I hope you're doing wonderful. I just wanted to come on here to talk to you about the global walkout, what the point of it is, is it going anywhere, how's it going. I want to be honest with you that I have also had second thoughts over the last 12 weeks. Is this worth it? Is it going too slow? Are we getting anywhere? And I was a bit demotivated at times, but I prayed about it and I thought about it a lot and I got an answer. I had a revelation. And it's not just about the global walkout. It's about the pushback against globalism in general. And what I realized is that we can't replace one power with another. We can't replace one global organization with another. It's always going to be corrupted. And also, we can't tell people what to think or what to say or how to vote or who to support. The best way that we are going to change culture, which is what we have to do to reverse the effects of globalism. The only way we're going to do that is empower people to be happier and to be better versions of themselves. And then they will just end up making better decisions. So instead of telling people what to do, we can show them through our own actions. And there is not one solution. There is not one organization or one initiative or one idea that's going to topple globalism all at once. It's going to start with you and with me as individuals. We need to be accountable for our decisions. We need to become better people. We need to unsubscribe from things. We need to use cash. We need to put our money where our mouth is. And guess what? It's going to take persistence. It's going to take faith. It's not going to be quick. Because what they have done to us, what they have done to install globalism around the world has also been a slow process. They've been doing this for decades. So the pushback against them may also take decades, perhaps. perhaps. But as long as we're getting somewhere better every single day, then it's going to happen. You see, what is wrong with this world is not just the globalism, it's us. It's not just the globalists, it's us. Because we bought into it. We use screens way too much. We're on Facebook way too much. And I'm speaking about myself as well. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. We get involved in these conversations that are an absolute waste of time. We've stopped spending time with each other. We've stopped being good parents or good brothers and sisters and good children and good daughters and sons and granddaughters and grandparents. We've actually disconnected from each other so much that we're so much easily we're so easily influenced by outside things. And you can't tell your friends how to think and feel, but you can show them slowly over time by being the example of the kind of person that you hope more people are. This is a revolution. And I think the global walkout, it is one initiative that is empowering people to make better decisions. Now, the steps are not all about the steps. It's not Oh, if we get vitamin D this week, everything's going to change. No, it's not. It's not going to change tomorrow. It's not going to change next week. We will have wins along the way and we must celebrate those wins. But guys, we're in this for the long haul. And the key is persistence and faith. We know we are doing the right things. And we know that we are trying our best. And you can never lose that way. So yes, the global walkout might seem to be slow to you, but why don't you bring a friend on board and do it together, make it fun. Now it's slow because we can't do everything at once. We can't change culture, culture straight away. It's gonna be slow. I see hundreds of steps in, my, in the future for us and I'm never gonna stop, even if I feel demotivated, even if people tell me that it's a waste of time. I'm never gonna stop. Because I believe that somewhere along the line, it's helping someone. And the thing is, when you do something good, you don't have to see the reward of that good straight away. In fact, you never have to. The key is, as long as you know that somewhere along the line, someone is going to be inspired by something you do, that is enough reward. And the thing is, the global walkout might inspire one person who inspires many other people And one of those other people might end up doing something incredible in this world and you don't know where that seed was planted. 
So just keep doing the right thing because the right thing is always the right thing to do. And if it makes you feel good, keep doing it. If it makes you feel bad, there's probably a reason. So we are in this for the long haul and I am with you every step of the way. Bring your friends on board, make it more fun and don't expect things to change straight away because they're not going to. But we are going to keep going. We're going to have persistence and we're going to have faith. Because good always prevails. It just doesn't happen when you want it to, but it will. So we're in this together and I'll see you for step number 12 on Sunday.